no longer safe to go outside because of the Charnado! Oh, I feel sick. Howdy folks, my name is Richie, aka Bogotter, back with another Guild Wars 2 preview video. The feature pack is landing today, and with it comes a whole bunch of new achievements in this collection section. Now, I went over the total patch preview in a previous video yesterday, but I wanted to show you some of the other collections that have now been unlocked on this account that I've been able to preview with. Now, some of these collections don't actually appear in your achievement list until you actually have one of the pieces, but you can see here I have got a whole bunch more that have lit up the screen, and I'm going to go over over some of them and what the rewards are here now I'm just gonna warn you in advance the inventory screen on this character is just a nightmare I've got stuff everywhere hanging hanging out and uh, yeah so it's not gonna it's gonna be very cluttered we're gonna go through this as organized as I can but you know bear with me a little bit here so we're gonna go into the basic collections and if you see here I have collections completed for these dungeon dungeon collections so crucible of eternity collector if you if you manage to unlock all of the heavy medium light and weapons for the set so it's a uh, it's 37 different weapon and armor skins completely then you're going to get this reward here uh you're going to get three achievement points actually yeah three achievement points and the magnificent inquest chest it contains dragonite ore rare and exotic gear obsidian shard champion loot bags and the ascended accessory kudos phasing matrix okay if you see here i've been awarded on this account the magnificent inquest chest so i'm going to open this up just so we can see an example of what you're going to get for collecting all of those skins in the place all right so um we got obsidian shards five of them we got a rare coat rare boots we got the assassin's pearl impaler and exotic spear so dragonite ore and kudos phasing matrix which is an ascended accessory with power toughness and vitality so you get all of those goodies for for doing that now that just gives you an example oh i got i got more stuff i was encumbered i also got three champion loot bags some metallic metal scrap and a pile of incandescent dust so if we go back into the achievement tab here um and look at the collections now you can see there's one of these for each of the dungeons and the rewards are comparable they're going to give you a different ascended accessory but you're going to get loot bags random rare and exotic gear and each one of the dungeons has uh, a different one of these collections okay so if we get past all of the dungeon ones we're going to come up to the alpha crafter all right now this one is for unlocking 36 fine and masterwork crafted armor skins in your wardrobe you can see here what they are uh there's a bunch of different options and the reward here is just five uh globs of ectoplasm and three achievement points so nothing too exciting there but that's another one of the collections the exotic attire okay again this is crafting items these are your uh, exotic level crafting for medium light and heavy shouldn't be too hard to get and again you're going to get three achievement points and a regal bag of goods which has a lesser vision crystal dark matter and obby shards okay after this we're going to go to the rare regalia all right this is probably in between the uh the alpha crafter and the exotic attire we got the rare regalia we got these different items all right, these are crafted rare armor skins, and you're going to get a lesser vision crystal and three uh, achievement points for that. Okay, the next one here, we have Style Guide here. It's a bunch of different books. It has the Scroll of Knowledge, the Tome of Knowledge, and then other books like Costs on Costs, and some of these other uh, books that you get from Karma Vendors. I'm going to mouse over each one of them just so you can kind of get a quick idea of what you can get. And the reward for this is an extended accessory, Wyland's Manual of Style, and of course... Some achievement points so we'll go back to basic collections um the trash collector these are junk items 51 different junk items i love this you get the honorary script title but then you get the bag of junk standard issue script kit mostly full of garbage excellent all right this is the spoon one i kind of highlighted this one in the uh the patch preview video to unlock this uh spoon collection you're going to go to an npc in the grand piazza of lion's arch talk to him and he will unlock this one it contains a variety of different spoons and you will get a, a bag of mentor supplies uh, if you do the spoon collection what else we got in here uncanny canner these are jars jar of bees frog in a jar firefly in a jar undead ash in a jar and all these different things 
This one's a new item, I think. Twister in a jar. I've never seen this before. The tiny dust mite inside shows no signs of slowing. I would assume you can get that maybe uh, somewhere in dry top. And the reward for this is a 20 slot bag, which is pretty cool. And the utility utilizer. Okay, so if you consume each one of these uh, like maintenance oils and the, the different uh, sharpening stones, if you, all of these, then you're going to actually unlock a utility primer, which allows you to extend the duration of uh, said consumables, which is cool. All right, and that's all the, the basic ones that have been unlocked on this account. I'm not positive if this is all of them. It could be all of them, but there could be other ones hidden. And of course, ArenaNet uh, is likely to add more of these as time goes on. So let's look at the rare collections. Okay, I've now finished. <laughs> I did a lot of work since the last video. I got all these Ambrite weapons. Uh, all right, so if, if you get, if you spend a, a lot of time and a lot of resources unlocking all of these, you get the 50 achievement points and you get an Ascended Armor chest. Okay, so this is how the Ascended Armor chest works. You double click it and that's going to give you a whole bunch of different options here so that you can pick your stats and choose your piece. Um, like that so you do that achievement and you get yourself a nice piece of armor that would otherwise be expensive to craft of course uh, collecting all the ambrite weapons is much more expensive than creating this piece of scented armor but if you're already going to be collecting all of those weapons this is a nice little side perk actually it's a pretty nice reward for for, for getting that done so let's look at the ascended accoutrement this is for getting light medium and heavy our armor sets in the ascended versions you're gonna do all those you're gonna get a hundred achievement points you're gonna get the grand artisan title and you're gonna get a grand weapon crate contains your choice of unique exotic weapon now there was some speculation going on that this all oh, this is gonna be a precursor you're gonna get a precursor but that's not the case and it's not even unique in terms of uh, this is the only this is not the only place you can get these uh, exotic weapons these are the uh, the rare exotic weapons I believe that you get them from champion loot bags uh, they have a rare chance of dropping from them but it, there's a whole bunch of different skins that you can you can uh, try to unlock via this method you can buy these on the trading post as well but you know you can choose one of these as a reward for you know if you go ahead and outfit all your characters you know light medium and heavy in in uh, ascended gear then you and you can choose one of these bad boys it also has like the the genesis hammer which is very popular you also have entropy in there so it's got some cool weapons with some cool weapon effects in there Moving on down. We're moving on up. All right, what do we got next? We have Spirit Crafter. Okay, and this is if you get all these ghostly weapons, right? You get these Azure Flame, Faux Fire's Essence, you get all five of these puppies. Then you're going to actually get a brand new. This is a new skin, it's a back piece. And you can select the stats on it. And of course, my weapon is totally in the way. Let's take a look. All right, so and you get this. It's one of the new craftable backpacks, but it's like a ghostly form of it. You got the swinging anvil underneath it. So that's a nice little uh, exotic item back piece that you can get to kind of uh, complete that outfit. And we got next, we have one called Exotic Hunter. So I have all the exotics here. This is an interesting one. Okay, if you collect all of these different exotic weapons, these are like the same ones that you can get as a reward in that other chest I was showing you. You get a reward called the Karmic Converter. All right, and what this does is you double click this once per day. It's not consumed. You can do this once per day and you can spend some of your karma on something useful. You also get this exotic hunter achievement. So what that does is it gives you a selection of three things that you can spend. I believe it was around 5,000 karma per thing and it gave you three obsidian shards, a choice at some dragonite ore or a sigil bag. And when I opened the sigil bag, I actually got um, a superior sigil of elemental slaying and two uh, major sigils. So I got one superior and two uh, major sigils out of that for 5,000 karma. So if, for those of you who are like me, who have millions of karma saved up and nothing to spend it on, well, once a day you can use the karmic converter to actually uh, spend some of that. So that's pretty cool. We're up to the rare collection, the Acolyte of Duena. All right, so if you get the Feathers of Duena, the Wings of Duena, Light of Duena, Seal of Duena, Duena's Embrace, and the Star of Duena, then you will get the Acolyte of Duena uh, title, and you will also get Duena's Reliquary, which contains Obby Shards, Essence of Luck, and Rare and Exotic Gear. Dungeoneer. Okay, collect the Ascended Accessories from each dungeon. All right, here's the ones that you need to get. 
you can see this is one of the ones I got from uh, you know one of the other collections so if I'm doing these dungeon collections you're gonna get the extended accessories for this collection and once you do that you get the Dungeoneer title and you get the Dungeoneer's Grandmaster Chest, which has a Vision Crystal, Rare Gear, and a unique exotic weapon. Alright, I, I don't have this achievement, but I assume it's going to be the same pool of weapon skins as the other one. And what's cool about this, these are all synergizing. I like how that you complete one collection and that gives you one step closer to another collection. And same thing with this, getting uh, you know, one of these unique exotic weapons will give you bring you closer to getting the Exotic Hunter one done. So they kind of synergize with each other quite well. And Treasure Hunter... Uh, this is 39 treasures all around Tyria. This is a big one. You, you got some things that are easy to do. You can just buy them off of Karma Vendors. Here, I'll show you real quick what they all are if you want to pause the video. But um, some of these are, are new stuff. And some of these, you know, some of these are, are rare drops like these exotic ac accessories. Um, and then you got stuff like this where you have to get a superior rune of scavenging and you got at the Tamini place of power in Queensdale and you can kind of charge it up and make a mark of the Tamini. Same thing with the burning forest quest. So there's some scavenger hunting type elements to this. Some of these are, are rare drops off of some of the dragon bosses. Um, and yeah, then we've got an extended ring. 20 slot fractal equipment box okay and then we got some items that uh, i think are new that you have to kind of create in a forge maybe goblet of kings infinite wisdom mystic artifact some of these are enabled on my account but here's the reward this is really interesting you get an enchanted treasure chest and it delivers an enchanted treasure chest to your home instance that replenishes itself daily so once a day you can go to your home and open up a chest of goodies for free now probably you're going to get blues and greens more often but i anticipate that you'll also be able to get some cool stuff on rare occasions so it's probably worthwhile going ahead and opening that up so those are all the rare ones that are unlocked on this account again it might not be all of them but it's definitely more than i had yesterday to show you guys and then of course the black lion collections i'm not going to go through all of these because these are basically the weapon sets uh from the black lion uh, tickets and each one of these has a reward of either seven or five black lion claim tickets so that kind of helps you perpetuate this addiction of trying to get all of these um, so yeah, each one of these uh, has its own slot. Hopefully some of these start coming back because some of them aren't aren't available anymore and the prices on the trading post are outrageous. Sclerlite weapons, I, I assume the Winner's Day ones will come back on Winner's Day, for example. But you know, you click in here, they want you to get all of these. And uh, yeah, they got Black Lion tickets as the reward for that. So what do you guys think of this collection system? I think overall this is a pretty clever uh, content uh, system. It allows, you know, there's not a lot of actual like there's nothing really like new there's like no new zone going in with this patch there's no dungeon that's going in this patch nothing like that but there is this there is a, a scavenger hunt uh, you know people are going to want to go around and collect this stuff for achievement points and for the rewards you know there's suddenly a, a list of things that you can kind of do and and now even even if you're not interested in just you know seeking these out as a scavenger hunt thing but just going forward while playing the game these things will just pop up and unlock as you go and it's just i don't know i think it's 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 a cool level of polish it's an interesting idea i approve of it it definitely fits the guild wars 2 style of uh of of, of you know just wanting to collect things and and uh you know show show some things off show off some titles show off some cool uh some cool loot that you've unlocked so that's going to wrap things up. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button before you go. And subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when future videos are released. I hope everybody has a fantastic day. And I'll see you next time on Tyria. Take care.